For BlueShirtsUnited.com, I'm Jim Cerny, joined by Michael Haley of the Connecticut Whale. And Michael uh, gets a go to Bridgeport, first yeah. time this season, the other day. And not too bad to pop one in on the first shift of the game and pop one in a little bit later. I, and you're smiling now. I know I, even though you guys didn't win the game, it certainly had to bring a smile to your face personally. Yeah, it was a little, uh, little different and a little weird at the beginning. Uh, you know, walking into the into the arena and being on the different side. I've actually <laughs> never been in those rooms, even in the five years that I was, you know, yeah. in and around there, up and down. But uh, obviously the first shift, you know, calms your nerves down a bit and, and you know, lifts a little weight off there and, and you know, just continue to try and play and uh, get ourselves in a good position. But uh, unfortunately, we, uh, you know, we didn't finish the job. What did it mean to you that Kenny had you out there in the starting lineup? Obviously recognize that this was going to be a big afternoon, an important afternoon for you, that he had you in that starting lineup. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I've started a few games here. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, we like to, um, I'm a, I like to bring energy and some hits. So, um, you know, it's always a good way to start the game if we can, you know, get the other team on their heels. So um, I wasn't surprised. I was happy. You know, obviously I had uh, some emotion, so I wanted to get out there and, and uh, you know, get some of it, uh, release some of it. Tell us a little bit about, now it's been two games against Bridgeport. You had here, obviously, opening night, so you had them in your bar and you, you go there. Tell us a little bit about, uh, any, any little chirping going on back and forth there, or is it, you know, no, you no. kind of get through, n nothing fun going on, no, no back and forth? No, people don't chirp me very much anymore. <laughs> I'm getting old now. No, but, uh, no, I mean, you know, the, as far as players go and stuff, you know, a lot of those guys are some of my really good friends, you know. Yeah. Still are, and, uh, you know, you spend five years or you know not five years with any of those guys anymore but uh you know a few years with guys and you, you build relationships but uh obviously when you step on the ice it doesn't mean you're you know you're going to be best buddies out on the ice for a different team but it doesn't mean i don't like them or you know don't want the, the best for them it's uh you know it was my time to leave that organization and uh you know time to, to start here and, and try and get good things going here Tell us a little bit about where you feel you're at, you know, more than a month now into your first season here in the Rangers organization with Connecticut. Roles, you've been put in, you know, a little bit different roles uh, perhaps than you were last year when you were in Bridgeport. Talk a little bit about that and kind of evolving to where you are now and, and where you like to go. Um, you know, obviously uh, coming to a new, new team and a new organization, it's going to take a little while to get your feet wet and, and uh, you know, figure out uh, how things are run here. And, um, you know, I think I've done that, and it's been a it's been a good month now that uh, I'm feeling comfortable, and you know, I'm confident, and uh, you know, I think my game's coming around here where I'm starting to you know get the hits and, and uh, you know get to get my feet moving to the way I, I uh, you know expect myself to do it. So uh, I think we're only going to go forward here and uh, you know get uh, get on track and, and put some wins together. It, it, it's interesting. It's a chicken and egg type question. You talk about you know getting your feet moving and all that, and and you've referenced before, obviously, bringing energy is such a huge part of your game. Obviously, you want to provide the offense too, as you did last year. Mm -hmm. Had real good offensive year last year. Chicken and egg. Which kind of builds more of the momentum? You think is it the energy leads I, to I to the offense? Both. I think that's that's the new hockey. Is uh, you know there's no. There aren't those guys now where I can just go on and my gloves, I can leave my gloves on the bench and go out and fight, and that's, there aren't those guys anymore. So I think it's, uh, it goes hand in hand. You know, if I'm, if I'm moving my feet and I'm on the puck, then it creates space for, for not only me but my line mates, and, uh, you know, they don't want the puck. So if they don't have the puck, then it means we do. So it's more chance to score an offense. So I think it, uh, it goes hand in hand, and, and uh, you know, your feet are moving, and it keeps, keeps them, uh, you know, looking over their shoulder. Where do you think the team's at right about now? It's been kind of a uh, streaky start, you know, yeah. a little slow. Then you guys had a nice run and then, you know, kind of came back a little bit. Where, where do you think you're at feeling your way? And, and why do you think you are where you are right now? Well, I think that, uh, you know, we've shown spurts of how good we can be. And we've shown spurts of, uh, you know, what happens if we don't, uh, if we don't uh, you know, keep the foot on, on the pedal there. But uh, I think we show promise. We're trending in the right way here now. And, um, you know, we got a young team. And, I think now a bunch of the older guys too are, are you know new to this organization as, organization as well. So I think now you know we we we've, we've got to know each other. We're coming together, and uh, I think now it's just uh, you know less talking, more doing, and and let's let's get uh, you know on each other's back here and and get some wins together. Well, more doing that starts Friday night or it continues Friday night uh, when you guys are back in action. Go get them. All right, thank you.